I watched you in a talk at the Paley Center, and Michael Schur, one of the executive producers on Parks and Rec, describes his introduction to you, which is that he call, got a call from the casting director, Allison Jones, mm -hmm. and she said, I've just met the weirdest person in the world, and I'm sending her to you. <laughs> and he describes like having the most uncomfortable hour of his life. And then the minute you left, he wrote a scene for you. Like that was the story on stage. Yeah. Tell me about that meeting with Michael Schur from your side, because I feel like okay, I either don't... you're a genius or you're the luckiest person okay, in the world. Okay, I'm not a genius, first of all. And second of all, I don't even remember. The funny thing about that week was that I had no like idea what was happening. I would say it was luck that I was in the place that I was, which was nowhere in New York. I was had literally gotten fired from a waitressing job the week before, and I was struggling, not knowing what I was gonna do, and my meeting was on the set of The Office, so I was psyched to be going to the set of The Office. Like, that's where I was in If my you had mind. just gotten to see the set of The Office, that was a good enough day. Yeah, the whole time I was in Mike Schur's office, I was just looking out in the hallway, trying to see who was walking by, because I saw, like, at one point, like, Mindy Kaling walked by and BJ Nova. Novak or whatever, and I kept being like, oh my god, like, just people on the office, like, I was so psyched to, and I didn't realize the weight of what could have ha come out of that, and also, I think, because I wasn't used to going on meetings like that and stuff, I didn't know, like, the proto, like, how they were supposed to go down, so I was kind of over sharing my opinions about his ideas and what I thought was funny and what I didn't think was funny. And I think maybe, I don't know, because they were just still figuring out what the show was. They hadn't written the script at that point. Like, they just liked my idea. In the original pilot script, which I have, I found it in my garage the other day, which was like blowing my mind, the character is named Aubrey. They wrote the character's named Aubrey, they changed it to April right before we started shooting. So when you saw so. that original pilot script and they sent it to you and you see your name in it, I mean, what does that tell you? Like, what does that tell you about what you should be doing? At that time, things were so crazy for me that I was just like, just keeping my head down, just trying not to make a loud noise. Like, I was just like, at any moment, like, they're gonna like discover that I'm a complete fraud and I have no business like being on television. <laughs>